I feel like they're both up to something. Him and AJ. Ever since we lost the drugs. Bro, I don't have it. I've done all the effort to give them back. You've done nothing. You don't know what he's capable of. I don't care, huh? This life that we're living ain't fair, huh? Ain't holding a cup for your tears, huh? I'm moving on, I'm shifting gears. What's gonna happen when the crew comes? Be on your head just like King Kong. Now you see this life ain't fun. You ain't clued up, you don't want none. So, hello guys, and welcome to the Clued Up QA session with my friend Khadija. Oh, we're basically gonna be talking to the cast for the main cast members about the film and the making of it. Did you guys wanna introduce yourself? I'm Callum, I play Theo. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm Joel, I play AJ. I'm Louise, I play Georgia. Nice. So my first question I wanted to ask you guys, especially you Cullen, how did the concept of the film come about? I think that I started writing it when I was like 16, had a meeting with my agent. And he said to me, he was like, you know, I shot a lot of stuff and he said to me, he was like, you know, you need like some showreel footage. And I was a bit like, yeah, he's like, why don't you just make like a short film? I was like, Okay, and you know how you see short films sometimes, excuse my language, but a bit shitty, a bit crap. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. Then I went home and I remember started thinking about the things that I want to see on TV and what I'd like to see. I was like, oh, I miss Waterloo Road, I miss like aspects of drama and what is not done. And a lot of stories are being told from like older people that haven't really, you know, they just come up with a concept. So I went home, got to Tesco, and I was like, if I'm going to buy this notepad and pen, like, I'm going to commit to it started jotting down some ideas of scenes and then from that it kind of started to come together of things that I think would be nice to show for once and yeah just kind of all came from how did there. you guys meet like the other classmates? so I did an open passing call in August no August August September no August no it was September July or August <laughs> no no it was, no, it was, no, it was August it went, okay September August whatever okay. and then I did an open casting call for the characters and one of the main things for me when casting wasn't necessarily like um, you have to be this or that, like there's no sort of type, it's just you send in a monologue and then you send, there, we send them sides of the character that we think suit to them. And um, from that we've got a lot of like diverse casting and um, Louise was one of the lucky ones, um, chose for Georgia and Joel was in an episode of Casualty. So um, I watched that, um, googled him, stalked him, DM'd him on Twitter <laughs> and I was like yo, like, I've got this project, blah blah, he said yeah, we met up, had a coffee and then a couple weeks later we kind of started production within the Oh, and it's kind of based on teenage life yes. um, and the problems that teenagers face. Um, how did you think that reflects like how a teenager lived in 2019? Um, I think it's real. I think obviously it's a film, so obviously some things are for entertainment aspects. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a film, so obviously it's going to be heightened a little bit. But I think that people might watch it and be like, oh, that doesn't happen, but it does. A lot of things that do happen within the film, I post through it, not personally myself, it's not biography. But um, a lot of things that do go on in the film, I've seen happen to my friends, people that I know of. So it's real. So I think that's something that I want to reflect. And even though it might be a hard pill to swallow when you do watch it and see certain aspects and it is a bit gritty and you know you struggle to watch it, but it's real and it's a conversation that needs to be had. So mm -hmm. I think it's got a good message. Finally. Because some actors and actresses sometimes act out um, their characters and they don't really, they haven't experienced it in real life. So yeah. like Louise, how did you find like, acting your I'm not gonna mention like what you were doing. Um, but like how did you bring that emotion out of you? Like Um, I think I guess I had some stuff in common with my character, but then I was just um you know, it was good writing, there was a lot to work with in the script, so I just uh -huh. took what was given to me and tried to do my own thing with it. Okay, cool. And how about you, Joe? Um I mean <coughs> like off the back of what Louis said, that like, there's a couple similarities with me and AJ but not a lot like a lot <laughs> of them similarities that's yeah that's what I found like little pockets to like um, open up and just explore okay and we all kind of know that someone died in the film we're not going to mention who but how emotional was when I watched the film um, and someone died I was like no I actually felt it I was like no I'm actually sad um so how was the setting like 
in the uh, on the set. It, w- it actually, I don't think, I don't speak for everyone, but I don't think it was that sad. Like, <laughs> I don't think it was that sad. Like, um, because it takes so long to do something, mm-hmm. it's a night shoot as well, so you are kind of like tired, you're shooting for so many hours and you're crying, you're crying, you've got to hit different angles, so it is like, I enjoyed doing it the most, I think it was um, cool, but um, I don't think it was like sad or anything, I think it was just because of like the next day the character's alive again and you're like, oh hey, I'm doing <laughs> yeah. scene, so you don't really feel it like that, so yeah. How about you? Um, oh, go on. I mean, I didn't necessarily find it sad, I guess, because I knew what happened, yeah, I knew what was going on, it wasn't like a shock to me, so. Okay, and how did you guys manage to get the emotion out? Because when I watched the film, um, and I've seen you guys, you know, mm. upset and stuff, um, how did that emotion come out? Yeah, how did you, what, what place did it kind of take you? For me, mm-hmm. um, I, like, yeah, there's some scenes when I'm quite emotional now. Um, so, for me, it was just, I had to just summon this, like, sad energy from something. Okay. So I just, <laughs> me, personally, I just, like, thought something that I was sad about um, before the past mm-hmm. and that and I just yeah just kind of brought it to now or when I was filming mm-hmm. um, and yeah I just had it in my head and then I just kind of just like got emotional off that. Cool mm-hmm. and Callum you play, uh, play Theo and Joel you play AJ and yeah. um, I believe that you guys really executed your characters really well Thank you. Um, and how did you get into that space of being that type of character because you played quite a bright boy that wanted to go to uni and you were just a uh, yeah. Boy that wanted to go on holiday and rave all the time. Yeah. So, how did you manage to execute those characters? Um, I don't know. I think that sometimes with casting, you can either really, really go on with people, or mm-hmm. it could just be feel like a job. I think with not just me and Joel, but most of the cast, um, we all just naturally kind of got on. So I think when it comes down to doing scenes on set and off set, you kind of just get on. So we'll be messing around before a scene, and that chemistry is already kind of there before we then go ahead and do a scene. So I think that for myself anyway, I think it's just kind of natural to kind of just bring that to life mm-hmm. really. Yeah, same really. Um, natural really is like, with characters, it's about understanding your character and that, that really getting into the depths of who that person is. So as long as there's like a lot of dialogue, like you can talk. I had Callum to talk to to really find out who AJ was and that. So yeah, it was, yeah, okay. just talk about the character really. And Louise, um, did you have you experienced <laughs> what you would went through, like your film, like in the film, like did you experience your character, like previously, like outside the film in real life? Is that did you get bullied? <laughs> 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 um, no, I didn't get bullied at school. Okay. Surprisingly, but uh, <laughs> when um, no, I just you know you, you see that sort of thing quite a lot, so yeah. you know just had to take it on and see what I could do with it. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I want to talk about kind of offset when you were just messing around behind the scenes kind of stuff. He was like the funniest. Uh-huh. Um, Aaliyah is quite out there. Aaliyah, who plays Hardy, the girl, the earrings, the Atty girl. Aaliyah's oh, quite out there. Your girlfriend, the one. Uh, yeah, like a little thing going on. <laughs> oh, okay. um, so, like, no, yeah, she's really fun. I think everyone's fun. Like, I think everyone messes around. Everyone doesn't really hold back. I think there's a lot of icebreakers. Like, on the first day, the first scene, <laughs> the first scene we all did together. Was, no, it was the second day for us, but for everyone, the whole cast was like our second day. And it was like raining, and it was like loads of people there. We had to do this sim- really simple scene where the boys run up to the girls behind them and I like, put their arms around them. And I did it, and I, you know, I don't know, really know Joel well, I don't really know the girls well, and it was like a frame pop, and I literally just felt lit, and everyone kind of funny, obviously I don't know these girls, and they're actresses, and I don't know Joel, and yeah, after that I think that was like a good icebreaker for everyone. Cool. So. It's just the same kind of thing really, like we just all... Just over. Yeah, <laughs> my That was funny. Um, yeah, just everyone got on well, like we met quite a few times, like with read-throughs and fittings and stuff before we started filming, so it wasn't that daunting okay. when think... we started. Also, with like our first table read as well, we had this table read, and you know we're supposed to go through the script. And I think we did it for about thirty minutes. We actually did games, get to know each other, and really stupid stuff. And there was already that you, my guys, might think oh, that's dumb, but it was a good icebreaker for everyone to kind of get to know each other. Yeah. And yeah, I think that was really good to begin with. And kind of you know you're gonna be on set with people for so long, you know, fourteen hour days. You have to be able to you know connect and you know become that character and ask questions and. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. So I think that was important for me to make sure everyone was comfortable on my set and yeah. yeah. Did you want to Oh that? yeah, um, he's not here today, but um, I found Manesh quite funny. Oh yeah? Yeah, he plays one of the teachers. I found him quite funny, yeah. I found, I think you guys might have seen it um, in the film when um, the teacher, um, she's the, the lady. Oh, um, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she tried to act quite 
Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. know if you guys no, have not it. Seen that, yeah. that was quite funny. That was and cool. I did like that. But how long did it take you guys to actually make and create the whole film from oh. the start to the end? <laughs> 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 I'm not sure um, <laughs> six years? I'm joking. Um, well, we started it in uh, properly September 2017. We started filming in November. Took a break over Christmas. Okay. Um, took a lot of breaks. A lot of breaks, yeah. <laughs> um, and then, sadly, Janita, who plays Jessica, her mum passed away, so we had to take a break again then. Sadly, after that, my dad passed away, so we had to take a break then. And then, two weeks after that, started filming again in April, where we saw most of you guys. And shot in May, shot in October, and did some reshoots in January, and then we're here now. So. Like the rough, the final edit got done about six weeks ago now, okay. so that's when it was like all done. And how did you guys motivate each other during that time? Mm. These guys motivated me. Just keep pushing, don't it? Because like, nothing's ever gonna get done if you just like stay where you are, and mm -hmm. you're stagnant. You need to keep moving and keep pushing, no matter what like obstacles are there, innit? Okay. Yeah. Cool. How about you? Be quiet. Um, <laughs> I think what motivating. Yeah, yeah. Other... How did you even motivate yourself? and to like, be the best character? I was just um, really focused on what the outcome would be. Like when I watched it back, mm -hmm. I, w I wanted to make sure that I was going to be happy with what I saw. So I guess not putting pressure on myself, but I was like, I had to get it right, you know yeah. what I mean? 100%. And these guys did a really, really good job, and they did sick. Like, I'm really happy with them. And have you guys watched the, the final edit? Or no. no. I watched nah. the rough. Version, Little but one, I yeah. haven't seen the You finished. saw a rough cut yeah. in the Christmas yeah. time ago. Yeah, you look great. That's so like, <laughs> um, and lastly, did you have like any difficult scenes that you felt that you had to like redo and like repeat to get it <laughs> perfect, or is that um, um, there's a lot of things on set for me anyway. That's like when you're producing, directing, and stuff. You don't really realize like aeroplanes and weather and. Um, like the tiniest little things that like go into it and you have to stop the whole day and you have to revisit it but then you revisit it and you're like oh shit you weren't wearing that jacket or that happened so mm. that sort of stuff is annoying it can be really simple scenes like um like the simplest of scenes just talking so that is like a pain but um i should say probably one of the hardest scenes to film was i think there was a day i think most of you guys were there when i had to do a scene where i had to like scream leave me alone at manesh um. and that day um um yeah, that was such a hectic day. Everything was like behind schedule. A girl fainted. Is a girl here today? Did you faint? Oh no, it wasn't me. Oh no, so you look at her. No, <laughs> you no yeah, there was a girl, and her mum said to us at the beginning of the day, she was like, yeah, you know, she's like prone to fainting. And me and my mum were like, yeah, it's cool, look after her. And literally mid scene, we just see this girl like drop down the stairs. Like, uh, and then I remember there were so many people oh, yeah, there when we did yeah. the scene. Yeah. 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 And when we did the scene, I remember people coming out of the basketball court, people were laughing. I was like, bro, this is emotional. Yeah. Like, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but that was kind of hard, but uh, it looks really good on camera, so that was really good. Cool. But yeah, sorry, you guys go ahead. Um, please. Hardest scene to film. Yeah, you're the hardest scene to film. Hardest film. Um, I know what scene it was actually for you. Which one? I'd, um, <laughs> mm. yeah. I'd say maybe. <laughs> actually, I'm going to say it. You can think for yourself. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess the ones where when we were filming on the estate and it was raining and you guys kept pushing me because we had to <laughs> this scene where they were like picking on me and ended up on the floor a lot. <laughs> probably that one. Um, probably there's a one. There's one scene when I'm like real emotional, like when I'm crying, and that um, I I find it quite hard to cry sometimes, so I had to use a uh, cry stick, and it got in my eye. Okay. So it's like putting, it's like, putting like something like. I don't know, Vicks or something. You know, no, yeah, know. literally. Yeah. So that after that, like, my eye was in it. That was hard to um, shoot because my eye was in. I remember my sister that she chopped it in your eye, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, are you planning on continuing to be director, writer, producer, actor, the whole triple, quadruple threat? Um, <laughs> or are you trying to look to move into one specifically? I mean, initially I've always kind of been focused on acting and I never really saw myself doing writing, directing, and all that kind of stuff. Like, even when we started, I'd never really take credit for it. I used to just be like, oh yeah, someone else is sorting this out. But um, I think as a few other like opportunities to come around that are quite big. Um, I think that I've kind of realised that I must have a skill for it, I'd like to think. So um, I definitely do think that well, I'm doing it, like in a few more projects. So yeah, I do think I will be doing more. But acting is my sole focus, but there will be some other writing, directing, and producing stuff going on. Um, if you could like describe the whole process in like three words, what would you use? Excruciating. Uh, no, <laughs> um, um, what would you guys say? Let's get a word each. Challenging. Yeah, 100%. Fun. 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 Fun.
fun. 100%. And uh, I'm trying to think of a word that's not too cheesy, like life changing. It's not life changing, <laughs> but like it's been a big experience. Yeah. Like, uh, a big experience. Like, it's been something that like, I think, even though you've done a talk forever, like, it's been a big experience. So, yeah. Been a mashup of like craziness, fun, and like craziness. So, yeah. Okay, so it's kind of linked to this. But so basically, you was like 16, 17 when you first started this. Turned just about 16, 17, yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's such a big thing. And like, how'd you get it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're here sitting, we're like the same age. But obviously, like, there's this financial side of it, there's like, support from other people but at the end of it it's you like how do you make this happen at that age without like much like experience and stuff like that um i think it's the kind of thing where it's like you've got to make mistakes like there's so many things in the film there's so many times and things like that that's gone on that i've been like oh damn it like i know a lot more now and i could have done it better but um i think that you have to learn from your mistakes like there's been times where um someone might not be needed on set that day you might overrun for this or that and i think that now I know that kind of stuff, it needs to happen. And in terms of being young and doing it, um, I don't know, I just think if you really, really want to do something, you'll do it. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen overnight. Like, I'm not saying that you can wake up tomorrow, find a film and do this and you'll be successful, because it, you know, it might not happen. But I think that um, as long as you're determined and <coughs> you really do love something, you want to do it, wake up the next day and go write your own film. Go start working and save your money and put towards stuff. Negotiate deals with people and say, will you do it for this much and that. There's ways around things and ways to get your thing up and coming. And, working and stuff so there's loads of things but just make sure you've got enough for it to begin with and yeah